whether we have the capabilities, whether it has been war gamed, I have no idea. It is going to be catastrophic for the entire region. For the Indian Army, there are two types of threats. There is a short-term threat and there is a long-term threat. For more than five decades, the Indian military has feared one thing above all else, a two-front war with China and Pakistan. India's new security posture under Modi has opened another half-front internally in Kashmir. If India is confronting Pakistan and China on two fronts, so people call it two-front war. And if we include uh, Kashmir into it, into this conflict, people call it two-and-a-half-front war. So in that sense, Kashmir does not have a regular army, but typically speaking, if there is a conflict between India and Pakistan and China, it is going to be two-front war. It is very difficult for any country to fight on two fronts. Uh, rather, if I say that even fighting on single front, having both the countries uh, nuclearly armed, it very, very, is very, very devastating and very, very dangerous. Because Kashmir, as we say, is a nuclear flashpoint. Further compounding the problem for India's strategic planners. In 2018, General Bipin Rawat announced that India would fight a two and a half front war. Indian Army under General Rawat's plan is arguing that they will be the pivot and after fighting Pakistan, they can be available for the China front. Over the last decade, India's military leadership has invoked the two-front threat to demand a greater share of national resources for the modernization of its armed forces. See, two and a half front war is a thinking of the Indian Army that we need to build a capability to be able to fight on both the military lines. One military line, we have a line of control with Pakistan and we have the line of actual control with China. So we should be able to fight on two fronts and the half front is we should be able to keep the Kashmiri if there is a Kashmiri agitation or something in check because all our internal lines of communication our logistics for the army everything has to go through those places so they should not be ambushed or targeted so this is the thinking a two front two and a half front war now whether we have the capabilities whether it has been war gamed i have no idea india's economy has plummeted new delhi is unable to modernize its military to tackle the two and a half war threat Trapped between its domestic majoritarian politics, its crumbling economy, India's strategy for tackling a two and a half military challenge needs a fundamental shift. If the cost of pursuing such a radical course seems very high, the price for chasing easy alternatives is far worse.